Hey everybody, John, JCM Custom Tackle here. Uh, going to do a quick video for you. Um, I've had a lot of questions on how I seal coat my lures. Um, probably 99% of the time I use True Coat, two-part epoxy. You got your A and B side, and I'll show you how I mix those and, uh, and do a couple baits for you. Um, so I buy these disposable paint brushes, the bigger ones for when I'm doing swim baits, the smaller ones when I'm doing, you know, smaller jerk baits and such. Popsicle sticks. I buy these small syringes that I mark A and B. That way I know which one goes to which and so you get multiple, multiple uses out of them. So basically the key to this is you want to um, measure them out equally. Uh, so I start with whichever side and I'll just measure it out. So I'm going to do one to seven, then another one to seven. So 14 overall. Okay. Set that down. I'll uh, do my B side. The B side's a little bit more runny, so you could be a little bit careful with it. Okay. So we've got those two now. I'll take my popsicle stick. We'll just start mixing and I'll mix this for I don't know a minute or so kind of depends on how much I put in there but you'll kind of feel it loosen up even more when it really incorporates with each other and it doesn't really take a lot it stays pretty thin you get pretty good working time with it um, I've used a lot of other epoxies um, in the past um, that work pretty well. It's just what I like about this is it holds up well and I get more working time with it. So what I mean by that is when I've used other two-part epoxies, you know, you do a bait or even a big bait and you start to feel that resistance with your brush to where it's getting kind of sticky on you. And you can tell on the finish when that happens. So you can, once I get this mixed a little bit more so you can um, take a small torch if even this gets tacky on you um, and you might try this with your own epoxy if you use a different brand or something take a small torch and just run it quickly don't hold it on your bait but quickly over your bait just to warm your pack the epoxy up that can help tremendously um, with getting it Back to that runny consistency you want you know that way you can brush it on nice and smooth all right i'm going to pause the video we'll let this um hang out for a couple i don't know two three minutes is all i do um and then we'll go ahead and i'll show you how i apply it to the bait and and go from there <laughs> 